Hey guys, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you a collection video and in the past I've been showing you videos such as my NES collection, my Mega Drive collection, Commodore 64, all kind of retro cool stuff that meant a lot to me as a kid. But never before have I really thought of showing you a modern collection such as the PlayStation 4. Uh, the reason for this is because Mr. Super Quintendo, Quinny himself, left a comment on one of my videos saying, um, Oh, it'd be cool to see a PlayStation 4 collection because you've paid up quite a lot. And I thought, yeah. And as you can tell from these piles, there's some at the end as well you can't see. I have indeed picked up quite a lot. Something else I picked up was this official PlayStation t-shirt in um, Primark and Cardiff yesterday, actually. Uh, things looks pretty cool. So I thought, what better t-shirt to wear while I'm doing this video? Okay, so these first two pals I want to show you are games I've yet to play or yet to complete. So we will start with this one. I've got Final Fantasy Typo. Always been a massive Final Fantasy fan. I don't really like this game that much. Um, I've started playing it and I just can't get into it. Um, it's completely different from the other Final Fantasies. I know it wouldn't be the same, but yeah. But I do want to go back and have a look at that one then. Because right, there's a lot to get through. I'll try not to talk too long. Uh, i got the Shenmue 1 and 2 collection, a game that passed me by in, uh, well, many years ago. Never played it. Uh, completed the first one of this, got to play the second. Not a bad game, but considering its age. Something I think I really would have enjoyed in back in the day, but now, obviously, not as, didn't have as much of an impact on me. Okay, so the next one is, oh, one, I'm the game I'm going to play next, Man of Medan, or Medan, however you say it. Uh, survival Horror by the People of Until Dawn. Uh, one of my favourite PlayStation 4 games, Until Dawn. Really impressed me. Okay, then we have two I picked up recently. Oh, and the receipt. Uh, some Lego games, Lego The Incredibles and Marvel Super Heroes 2. Um, I'm not the biggest Lego fan in the world, but I like playing these games when I've played a serious game for like weeks on end and then just fancy like a little bit of good fun. And these games are quite fun to play and um, easy to platinum as well. So if you want some platinum trophies, Lego games are definitely the way to go. Okay, next we have Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, still in its packaging as well. It's one of my newest ones. Uh, I do want to play this one soon. So hopefully you get this done before Christmas. I've enjoyed the reboots. This is not even a game, it's the soundtrack to Persona 4. Don't know why that's in it, but that's cool. Put that on the floor. Uh, it's a game I've had for years, still in this wrapping as well. I'm bad. I tend to buy loads of games and then not play them. Transformers Devastation. I've heard great things about this, so I will be giving this a go as well. I think I have had that for at least three years. It's bad. Okay, Toki Tori 2. I picked this up because it was cheap and was Toki Tori like a PlayStation Plus game for free? I know I've played it somewhere. Um, so I thought, oh, it's not a bad little fun puzzler. So I picked this one up. I uh, haven't finished it. I'm stuck on it. So I have to have a look back. Even looking at walkthroughs, I still couldn't do it. I don't know. I must be looking at the wrong part. Here we go. I like this one. Mega Man Legacy Collection. It's the first volume. I think they've put out another one since this, and it's got Mega Man uh, from Mega Man to Mega Man Six on there. Very difficult games, but great fun as well. Okay, Mad Max. I've had this a couple of years ago, <laughs> for a couple of years as well. Um, I've heard good things about this. Uh, bought this because it was pretty cheap. How much did I get it for? Five pounds, something like that. I can't remember where and when, it was not long ago though. Well, say it was not long ago, it was a couple of years. Uh, another Lego game I haven't played yet, still in the wrapping. See how bad I am? Lego Avengers. But if I see them cheap, I kind of pick them up. Because I know the things I want to play in the future. But with like, you know, full time work, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What are you doing? I didn't even hear you. Okay, that gave me a heart attack then. I'm going to keep that in the video because it was quite funny afterwards. I thought it was a bloody giant bird or something got in and then my mum had crept back in, scared to help me. 
since we're going out, bloody hell. Ah, oh, dear me. That's going in the outtakes for sure. Lego Marvel Avengers. I have not finished this one. I have how many stadiums and wrapping. I can't remember what I said now. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> uh, Metro Redux. Uh, this is a game I always want to try. I think this is a collection of yeah, Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Um, always shared about these games. I know there's more in the series than this. Once again, it hasn't been opened, as you can see. But that is one I want to try out. I didn't even know I had this. <laughs> Tear Away Unfolded. Yeah, that was one I wanted to have a go at. Here we go. I'm into my anime, so I picked this up. I've only played it once with one of my mates. I've not played it since. J Stars Victory versus Plus. All different like shonen jump characters like Naruto, Bleach. Uh, is Dragon Ball Z in there? Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Lots of different things. So I, I will want to go back to that and give that a go. Um, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Um, the one I have is on PS3, Resident Evil Revelations, the American version. Because I bought it when I was in New York a while ago. Yeah, so I've not touched that either. Okay, so that is one pile that has, I've yet to play or finish. So place on the floor. Oh, it's not going to work. Wait, here we go. Don't drop them, don't drop them. Okay. So, the game I'm playing currently at the moment, Tales of Vesperia. Uh, I've got quite a few of the Tales games now. I'll say quite a few, maybe like four or five. Um, yeah, I enjoy these games. I mean, like, these typical Japanese RPG. Not the best of the best, but still good enough. And I'm on the last boss of this, so I will finish this one today. Pull that by there. Mafia 3. Never played a Mafia game, but my friend recommended this to me, so I thought I'd pick it up because it was only a tenner at the time. Oh, Resident Evil Revelations. Okay, maybe it's not on PlayStation 3. It's the PlayStation 4 US version I've got. I think it is, anyway. Anyway, enough of that. So, yeah. So, I'll play that. Scribble Notes Showdown. I've done quite a bit of this game. I used to love this on the DS, so I thought I'd pick it up on the PlayStation 4. Um, yeah. I just love the idea of thinking you can type any kind of, like, item... You know, and then it'll appear on screen to help you solve problems. Like if a, the cat's stuck in a tree and you like type in ladder, and then you can get Maxwell, the main character, to climb the ladder to get the cat. It's great. Or you could like get an axe to cut down, chop down the tree. Cat might be hurt, but they always land on their feet. So yeah, I think it's quite a fun imagine game that one. Sega Mega Drive Classic Collection. I could go on all day about that. Proper nostalgia. Wipeout Amiga Collection. Before this was free on PlayStation Plus. Had it on. Had it on. I didn't have it on anything. Uh, I bought it because uh, it's quite cheap yet again. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. Still haven't played this, but um, being a big Final Fantasy fan, I, I am. Um, I thought I'd get it. Those playable characters at the back. Um, I'm not big on fighters in all honesty, but I fancy giving that one a go. Gravity Rush 2, this is one I bought for my friend because he bought it in the Christmas sales and then his brother bought it for him as well. So he sold it to me at a cheaper price. So I haven't played Gravity Rush 1 but looking forward to trying that. Wolfenstein 2, um, I think I've only ever played one Wolfenstein game. Uh, not that long ago actually. I'm trying, I was trying to get through them in order to get to this one. Um, it was good, maybe a bit long, the first one I played but... Am I a big shoot 'em up fan? Yeah, I guess I am, but not all the time. Bloodborne. This game kicks my butt. I've not got very far in this. Um, actually, I did that bad in it. Like, my friends borrowed off me. Uh, and they completed it. So I'm like, yeah, I have to try and get back to this and give it a go. I do want to give it a go because it's a fun game. But, like, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, things like that just kill me. Final Fantasy XII, so Jack Age, so remastered. Um, this was quite a good game on PlayStation 2. I really enjoyed it. It was PlayStation 2, was it? Yeah, it was. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving this another go. I say I'm looking forward to giving this another go. I've got too many games, so little time. I doubt it's going to happen, but it's still cool to own. But I do hopefully want to one day go. Okay, 
Atari Flashbacks Collection 1 and 2. Yeah. This video's going so well. So if I just put up with it because there's games in the way. I have uh, played a few games on this first one. I haven't played a lot on this second one yet. So yeah, definitely be giving these a go in the future. Hopefully you whittle this collection down because there's some games out at the moment I still want. They've been out for a while like Resident Evil 2 Remake, Death May Cry 5. Um, Death May Cry 5 was the Discovery. Yeah, it's the sequel. Loads of stuff I want to get. And games coming out as well such as <laughs> uh, Medieval Remastered. I'd love to get that. Anyway, okay, just get on some more. Watch Dogs. The hacking game. Uh, enjoy this one, but prefer the second one. Metal Gear Solid 5. Really did enjoy that one. Sometimes I find the cutscenes in this a bit too long, but yeah, good game. Enjoyed it. Uncharted 4. You don't have to say much about these. Oh, that's just the normal case of Metal Gear Solid 5. Lego Jurassic World. Never that game. Love Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World films, by the way, and the series. It's great. Dragon Crest Heroes. Now, Dragon Crest is one of my all-time favorite series. And saying that, I haven't played a lot of the games. I've played Journey of the Cursed King on PlayStation 2. And I've played Dragon Crest Heroes 1 and 2. And then uh, Dragon Crest 11. Because it's like not a lot of released on PlayStation 2 and 3 over here. But they are really good RPGs. Um, and this is like basically... Dynasty Warriors with Dragon Crest characters. Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. This game came out of nowhere. Um, I hadn't seen it advertised, heard of it like in production, didn't even see a preview or anything. And I love my point and click adventure games like Monkey Island, and I've played a lot of the Broken Sword games before this. So when I saw this coming out, I was like, yeah, getting it. And it was quite good, from what I can remember. Mortal Kombat 10. I haven't got 11. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a really big fighter person. Watch Dogs 2, much better than first. And 3 is on the way. World of Final Fantasy. Now, not too big on this one. Uh, I finished it. It was good, but it's just, eh, I don't know, it was a bit, it took a lot to get me into it, I guess. Everybody's Golf, the only golf game I have bought since uh, NES Open Tournament Golf on the NES. Uh, so why did I pick up a golf game? Uh, because of the nostalgia and the fun me and my mates had playing the first golf game, like, which we called Mario Golf, because I had Mario in front. And that post is actually on my nice nostalgia wall. So that is Everybody's Golf. Okay, we've got a steel case for Nino Kuni 2, um, Revenant Kingdom. The game of actually platinum as well. Not as good as the first Nino Kuni game, but one I really enjoyed. Let's see if there's much you can see of that, it's quite shiny. Yeah, Revenant Kingdom. South Park, the fractured butthole. Um, yeah, I enjoy this. Um, I used to watch South Park when I was a kid. Then. I wasn't the biggest South Park fan, kind of drifted off it, but these games are really good and they capture the essence and the the rudeness, the comedy of South Park. Spot on. Really good games. And I got the stick of truth on PlayStation 3. Yakuza 0. First Yakuza game I've ever owned and played. I'm not massive on it. I know it's like Shenmue, I'm not massive on that either. Um, good game, but... Found it a bit of a drag at times, but it is a really good series. It says the guy who hasn't played the rest of the series. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Not a bad game at all, but one, because it's online and stuff and i got so many games to do, I never, like, put a lot of hours into it. But it's Battlefront 2. Looking forward to the new Star Wars game in November, I think, though. No Man's Sky. I haven't played this uh, since all the, the updates, so I don't know what it's like, but playing this, first of all, I found it a real letdown. Yeah, a real disappointment. I thought this game would be awesome, but it's not for me. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we got that one as well. I do like these reboots. Okay, so that's our collection done there. I'll try and push that to the side. And we'll go for this one. 
And on top is the first game I ever owned for PlayStation 4, Alien Isolation. Play this on the hardest mode. Most tense experience of my life. Gaming wise, not doing it again. But good game. We've got Bat Batman Arkham Knight, which is free on PlayStation Plus this month. Um, yeah, I love the Arkham games. They really did the series justice. So, I think Arkham City was my favourite, though. The twist in that at the end was awesome. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I used to love the Call of Duty games, but I've gone off them because they are good games. It's just the amount of hours on online and how I have not got the time to put into it these days. Um, one of the oldest games again, I think. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Enjoy that one. Have not picked up Shadow of War. Far Cry 4, a game that was introduced to me by Steve, Retro Ed Steve, my YouTube partner in crime, as we call him. Um, and I really enjoy this game. Open world. Uh, you know what Far Cry is. It's pretty cool. Bat Lego Batman 3 beyond Gotham, so more Lego goodness. The Amazing Spider-Man, not the best. Uh, this isn't the new one, by the way. Oh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, sorry. Aha, one of my favourites. Spyro Reignite Trilogy, really good games. Uh, I never actually owned a Spyro game on PlayStation 1, but I borrowed them off my friends. That's how I had nostalgia for this, and as soon as I saw that HD connection coming out after they announced Crash Bandicoot, I was like, I'm definitely getting that. Ukulele. Um, I like my platformers, like we just said, with Spyro and Crash, but wasn't into this one so much. I mean, it's a good game, could have been a lot better, and they've got a sequel coming out, so hopefully that will be better. I'll wait for reviews before I pick it up. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Love this game because it went back to its roots and it is freaky as. Do you all remember playing the demo before this? Ugh, man. But yeah. So Call of Duty Infinity Warfare. Until Dawn. This is the game I mentioned. Uh, the people who have made Man of Medan. It's just the acting in this, the way it was put together was really professional, top class stuff. Um, I just loved it. I really played through it once. I want to do it again. But yeah. Definitely a steeper hit for me, that. That's going to be in my top 10 of PlayStation 4 games. Definitely, probably in the top 5. Star Wars Battlefront. Little Big Planet 3. Used to love this series. I haven't played this for a long time. I have made... <laughs> I have played... Uh, made my own Little Big Planet level called The Lost Treasure of Crazy Chicken. If you want to go and search for that. And that's all we're going to say on that bit. Uh, Dishonored 2. Dishonored games are quite cool. I've enjoyed them both. I love some of the abilities to get on there as well. Especially when you can turn into a rat, that's cool. The Last Guardian, a bit overrated title for me. Um, was not that into it. I mean, I've played the other games made by this company, um, like Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, they're really good games. This is a good game, don't get me wrong, but mm, I, it's not one I'd play again, but yeah. And that game was like going around for years before it finally came around. Before it was finally released. Alright, we've got three pals left. Stay with me. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Had these games on PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Are the games PlayStation 3? Maybe not. But yeah, love them. So that was a must buy for me. Uh, WWE games. This is 2018. I used to love these games as a kid. I would get really excited every single year for the new one to come out because I'm a big wrestling fan. But it's the same kind of thing in year in year out with these games now. So I'm not going to. I don't buy them all the time now. This is the last one I bought. I tend to buy them every two to three years to see what's changed, but I'll go on reviews first to see if they're worth getting. But again, it's a game that takes up loads of time, and because i got so many games after play, like those first two pals I showed you, you know, it doesn't really... Uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's one of those things. Uh, Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. The first Dragon Quest game uh, to be released on PlayStation in many years since Junior the Curse King, I believe. I did enjoy this one. Um, but it's not the best either. Enjoyed it, but still not my favourite RPG. But it was worth getting. 
I'm trying to remember the ending now. See, it's going to be not good if I can't remember it. Um, oh, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't have to say much about that. Epic game. And one, I wouldn't mind going back to that as well, to be honest. Man, this one's a bit disappointing. Micro Machines World Series. Bought this for my friend for his birthday. Then I bought another copy for myself because it's Micro Machines. We all have Micro Machines growing up on the Mega Drive. Yeah, this is disappointing, especially the lack of uh, online play or co-op play that you can play with mates. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Have they changed that since? Let me know. Uh, that's the case for Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom. Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided. Not a bad game. Still not one of my favorites though. And I've got twin series. Earth Defense Force, which was uh, introduced to me by what's his name? What's his name? Rock. It's Rob. Rockstar Seven. Rockstar. You remember Rob Rockstar 7, is that your name? I'm so sorry, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, Earth Defense Force, fighting giant bugs, invading the Earth. It was actually quite good fun. The graphics are not that great, but for just a quick, you know, just plonking the PlayStation, a quick hour or so, it is great fun. Not for some giant spiders, of course, but that's their thing. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Yes, I played that quite recently, actually. So, Uncharted games are all good. Persona 5. Now this was an epic RPG. Really, really good. Long, very long game, but yeah, this one. Yeah, the type of Japanese RPG that should be in the Hall of Fame. Really good. Fallout 4. Um, I never finished this game. Even though it's in my finished pile, I got to the end and I messed it up. I, I, maybe like updates have fixed it now. But this particular object I need, I can't remember what it is, is with like one faction. I need to give it to the other faction. But for some reason I can't get it back. I'm trying to steal it and everything and it just won't work. But yeah, love that game. That was great. Naruto used to be a huge Naruto fan. Not anymore. It's just too many episodes. They carry on and on. So this is Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Now, I'm not big in the fires, but this game I did enjoy. It's a bit different. And because I was a big fan of the series, that definitely helped. So I've got the other Ninja Storms on like PlayStation 3 and 2 as well. Murdered Soul Suspect. Not the greatest game, but not bad either. Um, quite interesting where you can just like inhabit people or possess them, or you're a ghost trying to find out who killed you. Really good stuff. But could have been better. Oh, this one is disappointing as well. Mirror's Edge. Uh, Catalyst. I enjoyed the first one. It was completely different. Something I haven't played before. Second one is a bit boring. Just really disappointing, in my opinion. Like, not the worst again, but yeah. Now, this one surprised me. Attack on Titan, Wings of Freedom. I bought a special edition of this, and it came with a box, and it looks like a, like a box of cereal. <laughs> Strange. But yeah, fighting Titans, and then swinging around them, chopping at the limbs is quite, um, quite entertaining. I still gotta watch season three of this as well. But yeah, that was an half bad. Really good game. Um, Legend of K Anniversary. Not my favorite games, but I never played this back in the day. Um, I'm I, I'm really into like all these HD remakes of classic games, especially if I haven't played them before and I know of them. I think, oh, I can finally got a chance, you know, to try this. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything too special. I can't even remember a lot of it if I'm honest with you. Even looking at the screens at the back, so. You can always remember a great game and then also a great game, despite well, despite what you actually remember from them. Um, Tomb Raider, so the first in this, the remake series or reboot series. And then another Lego game, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. So that's that. Okay, it's moving on. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man again. Spider-Man, what's it called? Marvel Spider-Man? That's what it's called, wasn't it, I think? Uh, great game. This is the one that was out in two, well, last September. Is it last September? Yeah, almost a year ago now. Crazy. Really good game, that. I enjoyed all the DLC for it. Looking forward to a sequel, if they make it. Hitman is the game I think I finished before I signed my RPG, Tales of Vesperia. This is season one. Eh. 
I found it hard to follow the story on this one. I was more into it just for trying to kill people and stuff, you know, assassin them. I've loved these games in the past, but I couldn't get into this one so much. Um, not my favourite, but definitely a decent effort. And this is a good game. That's one I've played very recently, Crash Team Racing. Um, have finished this. Really impressed with this. I'm not a big racer fan either, but um, like you know, everyone loves Mario Kart. But I love this one. Really good fun. And the other racing game I really like is Blue on PlayStation 3. Really cool. So yeah, I'm likely to visit this in the future as well, again. Ooh, this one, God of War, epic, like, reboot or remake or continuation of the series, whatever you want to describe as, really good. And definitely looking forward to the second one when that comes out. Far Cry 5, that was pretty good. I can tell this is the, the PlayStation part I've played most recently. Thief, this one took me a few years to play on PlayStation. Started off really promising, I was really into it, and then it just got repetitive and a bit boring for me. But decent enough. Uh, this one as well, Infamous Second Son. Uh, had this one floating around for years before I actually played it. Because this, if you probably recognise this as one of the first PS4 releases. Eee, not as good. Not as good as the other two. Um, so that one slipped my memory as well. Mega Man 11. This is quite a challenging game, but I did complete it and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. That was good. Uh, this one was quite good. Neo Automata. Is it Automata? Automata? I will say Automata. Um, I played the first Neo game on PlayStation 3. That was really cool. And this one was just as good. And after you've done the first playthrough, continue on with the other two because... Uh, there's much more to the story to be revealed. Dun, dun, dun. There you go, Marvel Spider-Man, the normal case there. Aha, Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's be having you. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts 3, the game I waited 13 years to be released. One of my favourite video game series of all time. Um, the game was good, but not as good as it should have been for waiting 13 years. I mean, come on. What were you all thinking of? Where were you? What were you doing doing during that time? Don't make us wait any longer. There is DLC coming up for this soon, so I will be playing that. Did actually manage a plan in this game. Bit of a challenge, but being my favourite, I had to do it. Detroit, become human. This wasn't a bad game ever. It's like kind of like your heavy rain kind of games and the until dawns, man of Medan kind of thing. Where your characters can die, it's all about the choices you make. Um, I think I got the best ending possible in my first playthrough for this. So, yeah, not too bad. Okay, last part now. Sorry if this has been going on. It's a bit never disappointing game for me. Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. Not the best title, to be honest. Uh, yeah, this RPG left me a bit cold as well. I mean, I, I did like the Star Ocean series. I had one on PlayStation 2, which wasn't too bad, but... It was not entertaining enough for um, for my liking. Okay, Doom. Really impressive, Doom. The gameplay in this is absolutely awesome. Really, really good. Looking forward to seeing what they do with the series in the future. Because before this, this is my first Doom title. Um, I never really played it. Uh, maybe on PC, actually, once or twice with friends. But yeah, this. Doom. See you soon. Never Call of Duty Black Ops 3, WWE 2K16, The Evil Within 2, this one surprised me, I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would, um, The Evil Within, <laughs> it's quite good on PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 4, duh, I think, this was, I think this was like an only game as well, and it wasn't too bad, it wasn't like on par Resident Evil, but then when this one came out, it did impress me, it was a lot better. So I was happy with that one. Giant Crest Heroes 2. So more of Dynasty Warrior type action with extra characters this time. Final Fantasy 15. Now, this is a good game. If it wasn't called Final Fantasy, if it was a standalone game, it would be really good. Uh, but it's not bad, it's just lack of story. 
people we loved Far Fancy in the past because of the story. The story, the music. I did like the music in this with the soundtracks when you drive around in the car, you can like buy the soundtracks from the previous games. That was awesome. Um but yeah, the characters, you know, the story, the interaction, it pulled you in, you got emotionally attached to it. Final Fantasy Seven, that character's death. We all know it. But since then, I these games have just gone further and further away from me from what made them great. Stop trying to like, you know, advance it all the time. It's good enough as it is. We just loved it for what it is. Turn based. Stick to your roots. Final Fantasy Seven remake, you better be damn awesome. That's what I'm saying on that. Plot in that game as well, mind. Because Final Fantasy being one of my favorite series, like King Hearts 3, I had to simply platinum just one of them. Just Cause 3. Um, not a bad game, actually. Just to have like a bit of a mess around in, have some fun. Not perfect again, but not half bad. The Order, 1886. Now, before I play this, a lot of people give us games and like poor feedback or bad reviews. I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't too long. Um, I thought the gameplay was great. I thought the story was quite good. And yeah, I don't know what all the fusses were really about that one. So, okay, to the left, <laughs> uh, Ratchet and Clank. This was like the remake of the original. I uh, really enjoyed this one as well. I've always loved the Ratchet and Clank series. I think I remember in being in school once, just playing like a Ratchet and Clank game all summer. With Jack and Daxter as well. Hang on, when did this game first come out? Maybe I didn't. Anyway, Ratchet and Clank, awesome. And the last game to show you, and by no least the worst, because it's one of the best in my opinion, and I didn't plan this, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Really enjoyed this game. First Witcher game I've ever played. Oh, so, so good. Open world, graphics, the, the things you can do, the gameplay, I loved it. Really loved it. I only played this one in the last what, two years ago, maybe? Yeah. And of course, they bought that, ca that card game now as well. We can play, what's it called? You're all screaming at the, the screen, I know. Gwent. Thank you. There it is, guys. That is my PlayStation 4 collection. My heart is calmed down now from that earlier jump scare. <laughs> it's going in the Hall of Fame now. Okay, so that is my collection, guys. Let me know in the comments. Hello. If your taste is similar to mine, is there any game show you actually love? Is there any games you hate and like, Matt, why the hell have you bought that? Um, this collection is only going to grow. Now I've got to put it all back on my shelves. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Mr. Super Quintendo, hope you enjoy that. And as ever, guys, boom! More PlayStation goodness soon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>